Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today I want to talk to you about the benefits of active ribbons. It's a fairly new concept. I mean, ribbon microphones have been around forever. Uh, they're a very old, classic, simple design. And just recently, we've had some active ribbons come onto the market. Today I want to give you some of the benefits for using an active ribbon microphone. Okay, so what's an active ribbon mic? Well, in short, it uses phantom power. Uh, for a passive ribbon, we never ever use phantom power. We avoid it at all costs. But for an active design, well, it actually requires phantom power to work. You know, why do we want extra circuitry in the microphone? Uh, firstly, uh, the impedance of the microphone. Um, there's kind of a misnomer that you should match the uh, impedance of the microphone to the impedance of the preamp. And in reality, we really should have a much higher impedance on the preamp. This translates to better microphone performance. So say the mic preamp is running at 600 ohms, um, the ribbon microphone, if it's passive, may suffer a little bit in the performance. But say that the mic preamp is way up at 8,000 ohms, well, then we can expect better performance out of that ribbon mic. So with active ribbons, this is where things get interesting because now we can use any preamp that we like based on the color and tone of that preamp. We don't have to consider uh, the input impedance of that preamp anymore. We can simply match based on the tone that we're going after. And this brings me to point number two, is not only can we match the microphone to the different preamp based on the color and the tone, but we no longer have to consider, does this preamp have enough gain? Now, some preamps may not have enough gain for some passive ribbon microphones. However, with an active design, you are getting more gain and we're able to use more preamps because we don't need as much gain. This also translates to less noise. You use less gain at the preamp and therefore a little bit less noise as well. Now, with just these first two points, we can pair the microphone with any preamp based on the flavor of that preamp and regardless of how much gain that preamp has. This has some benefits to both high-end users and entry-level users. So, first of all, high-end users, if you have lots of different types of preamps, uh, you can go between Neve, API, uh, Pacifica, and you can select the preamp based on the tone, okay? but entry-level users may not have a bunch of outboard preamps. So we may be using things like um, small interfaces. Who knows what the impedance is? Um, interfaces that don't really have a lot of gain on those built-in mic inputs. And so an active ribbon mic enables us to use an entry-level interface, uh, get the best out of the mic, and not have to crank all that gain on that built-in mic pre because I'm sure it's more noisy than ideal. So right away, those are some really key benefits for active ribbon microphones. Now the third one is kind of a bonus. Um, it really has to do with my experience with you know using the, the old 44s, 77s. Uh, they are really big microphones. Uh, the magnets in these things are really heavy and you know, I noticed right away that um, the whole studio has to really um, change how it's interacting with stands and counterweights. Um, I really didn't have the proper mic stands to really use these microphones efficiently around my studio. You know, with an active ribbon microphone, uh, they're able to use a little bit different transformers because they don't have to have such a huge honking transformer in there. And that means that the microphones can be a little bit smaller. This is just fantastic. Um, I know that for these N8s, um, they've been a real workhorse microphone. They're small, they're light, uh, they're not gonna topple over, and they really perform quite well. Okay, so here's a quick demo of this concept. Uh, we're gonna be showing you um, the first example with the Warm Audio 412 at 600 ohms. It's a little low for a ribbon mic. Then we're gonna be taking it all the way down for 150. This really should be tone suicide here, uh, but I think that this N8 will really handle it quite well. The microphone that we're gonna be hearing today is an active ribbon microphone, the AEA N8.
Okay, so it's pretty interesting, okay? Usually um, on my passive ribbons, uh, this tone would just be falling apart. Um, it really would be suffering. Um, the mic would almost sound like it's struggling a little bit. It's a really bizarre sound. Uh, but with an active design, we can select the microphone to the preamp. Whatever the flavors that we want, we can easily make that pairing. I really never realized the potential in this until I realized that I can select my preamp based on the color. That was just mind-blowing for me. So I'd love to know your questions or comments about ribbon mics. Be hanging out in the comments below.